This recipe is my super green Reuben. And if I look excited, you should be too, because if you love a toasty, melty cheese sandwich, this one's loaded with a ton of super greens. It's delicious while nourishing you from the inside. It's amazing. I think we should jump straight in. First of all, I'm just gonna cook some sliced garlic. And I'm using a, a robusty uh, mid-strength olive oil because I want it to hold all of these greens. So a couple of tablespoons of that. And then some oregano as well. You can chop it or you can just pull it off the stems. Be a little bit freestyle about it. A little bit of salt. Let's pop in some pepper. Let's make a really nice, well-flavoured base to sauté this enormous amount of kale and spinach in. Okay, just give that a stir around. Over here with the kale, you can use green or purple kale. Now this little bit here, the stem on the inside, is actually too fibrous to eat. So all you need to do, give your kale a good wash, and then just simply grab the end of the stalk, run your hand down, and that's the bit you eat, and this is the bit we throw out. Easy. Then just roughly tear that or chop that. You just want it into nice chunky pieces in our sandwich. Doesn't have to be shredded. And that's ready to go in. If you ever wanted to get a huge dose of super greens in one meal, that's so delicious, this is it. Okay, that's looking good. The greens do wilt down, but so I don't toss them everywhere, I'm going to add a couple of handfuls of kale at a time. Then I'll just soften that down, turn it over gently. The kale needs the longest cooking, so I'll do this one first. And then I can just toss in the baby spinach to wilt. I've chosen some really nice rye bread today because it's huge, generous slices, but you can choose whatever bread you like, whole wheat, but something with a little bit of depth and flavor to it is nice with the bread. Not sure white bread would really cut it. Okay, the kale's really nice and bright, vibrant green. It's time to add handfuls of this spinach. It's just baby spinach, so it's gonna wilt down in no time. Just turn that through the hot kale. And that'll be enough to wilt it. Give that a turn. A little bit more room in the pan. While I'm waiting for that to wilt, I'm going to add some dill. And I think dill is just the perfect partner to kale and to spinach. I love it. I'll just break that up roughly. Pop that in. Now let's start adding some really big flavors to this. I've got some horseradish for kick. Just grated horseradish. Got some cream cheese. It's really traditional in a Reuben cream cheese. Just gonna push that in and give it a mush around just to melt between the greens. Okay, that's just all melting through there, the cream cheese. Sauerkraut, really good dose of sauerkraut. Just beautiful fermented pickled cabbage. It's got a nice vinegary kick to it. So we're gonna have that cut through with the greens, the garlic, and the horseradish. So that's our filling. You should start loading your sandwiches. Just grab these bread partners. Just pop some Swiss cheese on here, which is really traditional again in a Reuben, but you can choose whatever cheese you like. Just pile this on the bottom. I like to leave the mixture not totally kind of combined together, so you get a bite of the green and the sauerkraut, the creaminess of the cream cheese. So I've only just combined it, as you can see. You can still see chunks of that sauerkraut in there. Tuck all that in, push this on the top, I'm gonna push them down nice and snug. I'm just gonna put two strips of oil in the pan. Just let them sizzle away, medium high heat. I want them really golden and crunchy, I want that cheese to melt. 
Reubens are traditionally served with dill pickles, so I've got a big bowl of dill pickles to serve on the side. Really crunchy, toasty bread. Cheese is melted. Let me check the underside. I think we might be there. Okay, let's give this a little slice in half. Show you what's on the inside. Crunchy, toasty bread. Sounds good. That is super green goodness all wrapped up in a super crunchy, yummy cheese toasty. I'll try some of that. Yum. I love greens. I love cheese toasties.